What's up, y'all, man? It's Marlon, man. What's going on with y'all, bro? Hey, look, we got breaking news, bro. Jerry Heard ducks Julian J. Rock Williams, bro. Swift Jerry Heard. He ducking him, man. And I'm explaining to you why he ducking him. I I'm not just trying to say he ducking him because he pulled out of the fight. Because oh, this is what I'm saying. Jerry Heard pulls out of December 14th date. And I say he ducking him because, let's say this, okay, what's his excuse for pulling out the bout and moving up? Because he move, he moving up to 160 also. So, is your excuse, to me he got good, he, he's still a duck, but to me he got good advice to not take that fight because it was really going to hurt him. I feel like he was going to lose again. That's just me. But, this is why I'm saying he ducked. Let, let's look at the timeline, bro. So, Jamel Charlo and Jerry Heard was supposed to be fighting that December date. But guess what? Jerry Heard said, I need a tune-up. He said, man, this came out of his mouth, bro. He said he need a tune-up. So, he wanted to fight. The little dude he fought on, on Deontay Wilder undercard. He got touched up a little bit, and, and Jamel jumped in the ring, and then he like, let's fight. Guess what? They supposed to fight again. They, <laughs> they supposed to fight again, bro. But Jerry Hurd said, no, I want to fight another right-hander. So he picked, um, he picked, uh, J-Rock, trying to use him thinking he was a tuna so he was mistaken thinking that j-rock was a tuna when he was not so he said fuck it i ain't gonna um he said fuck it i'm gonna fight a right hand he fought j-rock and lost and got beat up so let's say j-rock after you fought j-rock and according to your plan that you beat j-rock who was gonna be next Jermail, that's what that was your plan. That was your master plan of 154 of being undisputed. That was your master plan. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix this. Pull this shit up. But yeah, that that was your master plan. Your master plan was for Jamel to beat Tony Harrison and for you to beat J Rock. Then y'all meet up at the end of the year. That was your plan. If Jamel, if shit would have went according to plan, I guarantee you he wouldn't be moving up. But he did. He pulled out of the fight because he got his ass whooped. And he didn't want to fight him no more. He said, fuck it, I'm going to move up. He felt like he wasn't going to be undisputed anyways. So, shit, fuck it. I'm tired of making this weight anyways. And I, and I know I can't beat him. I'm gone. So, that's my case for him ducking him. But, y'all can tell me what y'all think if y'all think otherwise. But, bro, I just broke it down, bro. It's a duck, bro. Because if Jamel would have beat Tony Harrison and he would have beat J Rock like he thought he was gonna do, he would have fought for that undisputed belt. But guess what? He know he had to go through a tough, another tough fight with J Rock, and then fight the winner of Tony Harrison versus Jamel. Man, that shit was gonna be dragged on all the way to the summer, probably or 2020. So that's why he pulled out that fight, bro. He played too many games. He miscalculated. And his plan didn't go according to how he wanted to go. So that's why I'm calling it a duck. Because it's a duck. Because if it's Jamil, you would have fought him. But you ducking this, man. Because you know it's a hard fight. And you're tired of making that weight. But it is what it is, man. I know J-Rock don't feel no type of way. He don't really care. Because guess what? That's one less fight. One less ass whooping he got to give. And he got his three belts. And all he got to do is fight a little fight and, and wait on um, and wait on Jamil and uh, Tony Harrison. It is what it is, bro. But shit. Y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. The news, you know what I'm saying? This breaking news, bro. That's some real news, bro. We needed to know some shit like that, bro. But that's that, y'all. I'm out. Peace.